Hey guys, good Tuesday to you. Jen Cravasi at Jekyll Bates coming at ya. It is almost midday. I've been working on some editing. Uh, we've got a brand new spray session coming out for you guys. I've got the big bass mailbox that's currently on the editing board now, right now in Adobe. Editing. It's and I've got a few white. pieces to show you guys, which I wanted to go ahead and get up because we are running a big 4th of July sale. So without further ado, there's your little Freedom 15. Go to www.jekyllbaits.com for 15% off the entire website now through the 4th of July for all of your fishing pleasure. So I hope you guys take advantage of that while the sale is on. The next sale probably is not going to happen until around Labor Day, which is going to be late September, early September, late August. I'm pretty sure it's late August, early September, somewhere in there. Labor Day. This is going to be the next one. So just a couple of things. This is hand cut stencil. And uh, I've got a, a massive order for Dirk Frackawack out of um, Kansas. And we're coming down the home stretch on his stuff. As a matter of fact, on the editing board, uh, also with spray sessions, we have that big bass mailbox that I'm currently in the process of just about wrapping up. And I'm probably going to put all of his, I don't know, I think we're up to like 80 baits for him. Um, that I'm working on. We're almost almost done those. Um, they're going to go inside the big bass mailbox and ship right back to Kansas. So that's on the on the Adobe editing block right now and the brand new spray session. This is hand cut stencil. This is from uh, an X-Acto knife and uh, basically a silhouetted uh, clip art, free clip art that we reduced down, put it in uh, one of the probably one of the office products and shrunk it down printed it out stenciled it and this is for Dirk he owns a sprawling ranch in Kansas and used to keep Buffalo I don't believe he does anymore but super super cool guy awesome guy so we're doing some special stuff for him just gonna pick up what comes to me now this is a reimagined toxic crappie really cool love the way this has turned out it is an optical illusion there's a lot of depth perception in this which i love doing it looks like the green is on top and then it looks like the uh the black and white is on top and this is just basic layering um it's a little tricky to pull off you really have to know your angles that you're spraying at uh, but it can be achieved not that difficult I have done a video on this before, so if you go back to, I want to say about a year and a half ago, did a three-part series with stencils and wraps. Go back and check that out. I'll link it in the description below. Um, Got to find it on YouTube in order to do that. Sometimes they're a little tricky about what, uh, but anyways, it's a part, I think I did this on part two, and I did it on a jerk bait, but it's the exact same wrap and the exact same stenciling and layering and angling, so... I have already done a video on this, but go check it out. This is the reimagined Toxic Crappie, and Lord, it's bright, but I tell you what, we love some bright colors. You know that I do. Fun, fun bait. Did the same thing on the Molten Lava. Looks like a charcoal briquette burning. That's the whole intention, is that you want it to look like that black and white is just laying up on top of the bait. Lots of depth perception there. That cool little optical illusion for you. And the crystal eyes. This is from the Wildfire series. Available on the website. This is the Wildfire Tiger. And then we have the showstopper. Added a little bit of bling to the eyes on that to give that some more depth perception. And those eyes are Jetson. And then obviously that looks like it's 3D as well. Showstopper. Red discus. Kind of give you guys a rundown of what's been coming off the clear coat rack. And then this 
is something that I was just goofing around with last night. It is not on the website. Pretty cool concept. Very translucent bait. If you hold that up to the light, back that camera off just a little bit. And then when you pull it out of the light, you can tell I've had coffee because my hands are shaking a little bit. That's all right. It's windy out today. We're supposed to get some pretty wicked storms this afternoon here in Jonesboro, Arkansas. Been finalizing plans this morning. October is going to be mayhem, absolute mayhem, but we are going to have a blast going back east. And we are doing, uh, we're doing the, the Jekyll baits, fish the, fish the country, cross country fishing, basically. So, um, mid October, I'm going to be fishing the Salmon River in Pulaski, New York, upstate New York. From there, I'm going to the mid Atlantic to see family, see mom. Um, mom is on a lake in Virginia, so I'm going to go see her and then back up to Maryland where I'm going to see some of the rest of my family right at the top of the Chesapeake Bay in Haverty Grace in uh, Harford County, Maryland. I'm going to fish that and then we all get on a plane and go to Disney and we're fishing Orlando. So it's going to be wild. So there's a lot of planning that goes into stuff like that. That's what I'm in the process of doing this morning, along with editing for you guys. A reimagined deep pumpkin seed. Very deep. Jetson eyes here too. Love me some Jetson eyes. You'll have to comment if you're watching this um, as to whether or not you are taking orders again, John at Jetson. This is the winter gill, not to be confused with the winter green gill. The winter green is a green sunfish, and that's all that hand detail. That's a crazy amount of work that's involved. This is also, this is, there's a few layers that go into something like this, but it's a little bit easier to manage. This is available on the website. And the wild perch pattern. It's a distressed look. You can see the veining in the, the back part of this. But that is your yellow perch. Very cool bait. One of my favorites for fishing up north, especially Deep Creek Lake, Maryland. Awesome, 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 awesome. Over here. Yeah, maybe. I know you guys want to see it. This is a very transparent. This is the ghost gill. Love this pattern as well. And a June bug. Super clear on the bottom. And I gotta tell you what, the uh, these baits that have been coming out of Dinger this last time just picked up a hundred, I think, maybe more. I can't remember. There was it was a big order. Um, they're phenomenal. I mean these are just wow. I was super impressed with the weight, with the the weight distribution in them, just a really good looking blank. I would pretty much just seal it and fish it clear. Um, it's that good. This blank is that good. Go see Brian at Dinger. That guy. Dingerbaits.com. Got another Mr. Stitches. I haven't had an order or request order for this in a long time, but this was really cool. I have a lot of fun doing specialty baits like this. It's out of the box, weird, kind of almost like a Halloween type deal. Um, but I have so much fun doing stuff like this. So if you guys want special orders and stuff that not everybody else has, whether you're a collector or, uh, uh, hey, I would fish this. I don't know about y'all, but spring, pre-spawn, winter, heck yeah, you bet I would. Absolutely, all day long. This is Mr. Stitches. And then we've got this craw. The 
This is the river bottom crawl. Love these oranges on the bottom. There you go. If you're noticing a little bit of crazy pearlescence on this, thank you, Gerald Novick. It was a gift. I've asked twice. I'm not, I'm not going to ask anymore where he got it. Um, I don't think he's going to give it up, and I'm okay with that. But I was just amazed and grateful that I got a little sample bottle of it. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then, another mini. Just a gill pattern. And yes, it's uh, almost a, a DuPont shifting because you can get some real dark qualities of it, but then in light, that goes away. Love paint shift. If you can do it right, it's all in how you're angling your brush, folks. But there is that regular old bluegill. It'll get bit, promise you that. There's your stripes and then it's gone. Can't beat that with a stick. That's what I've got for you. That's all the news that's fit to print this morning. Stay tuned for the Big Bass Mailbox reveal that's going up to Kansas next week and new spray session and a bunch more. Um, I had like three minutes to take out the Favorite Fishing Summit last night. It's phenomenal. It is really super sensitive, but I did not get a full day in with it, and I didn't catch anything last night, but I could feel everything on the bottom. I could even discern what that was, whether I was hitting my, um, my lure against wood or rock or grass. Um, unbelievable. Unbelievable this summit. So I'm looking forward to giving you guys some good fishing vids with that. You guys have a great day. Enjoy the rest of your week. We'll see you soon with some new vids, some fresh content. Happy casting from Jekyll Bates.